So, some of you guys will recognize this bombardier. This is the one that was in the shop over the winter. <coughs> and uh, it's in for an auto pack claim. What ended up happening here was uh, a bombardier got broken into in uh, the storage location where the customer kept this. And the uh, guy that uh, broke into the, uh, the bombardier was trying to hotwire it, not realizing that there's a fuel shut off and so they ripped out the ignition and uh, but what he also did was he actually stole the lights that were on here and uh, so dad actually has to redo the ignition on here like just to get it running you got to put install the new lights and there's a few other little tasks that have to be done here and then we're gonna call auto pack back up and uh, they're going to uh, come collect it so not the end of the world but you can see some of the parts that were left here and so we're gonna have to clean this up here again for the customer so we're hoping this is a quick couple day turnaround but again we just got to make the space in the shop over here so this is the big big project that's coming into the yard this is the same customer that owns the blue narrow gauge and uh, Looks pretty good, but uh, it's basically a complete rebuild from front to back. There's a lot of things in here. Probably take dead two, three days just to rip out a lot of the garbage in here. I don't know where they got this dashboard from, but uh, that's all coming out. And then uh, once dad gets everything ripped out of here, you'll be able to see better. But the customer's already provided the new fuel tanks here. And... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of work in here. I imagine this is going to be a easy two-month job for Dad to uh, do. I think this is a 66, if I remember correctly. And uh, again, we're not doing any body work. This is going to go to uh, this is going to go to a body shop for paint job. So uh, yeah, once Dad gets in here, starts ripping things out, you'll see lots of progress coming through. But the, the big thing you see right now is this. We made a video about this previously, about uh, when the customer showed up. And uh, so we got a huge list to go through here on what has to be done here. So this is the, the next job, a uh, little job here. Uh, this is a good friend of dad's. This machine has some work on the engine that has to be done can't remember exactly what but uh, dad's gonna uh, it's got all the parts in for this already so it's just a matter of uh, doing the labor probably a couple days work here and uh, customer wasn't too worried about it because it's summer but a couple days work on this one and then we can move this one out of the yard and the goal is just to uh, kind of free up the shop as much as possible so that we can get this work done but uh, the, uh, we'll keep on doing videos for you guys to show you all the progress that's being made. Okay, so the, the last machine here we have is obviously the yellow bombardier. Uh, we want the customer to be able to get kind of caught up on uh, some of the back payments here. We haven't really worked on this in the last three weeks, but I noticed uh, yesterday dad bought some more parts. Uh, at some point, what we've got to do is uh, start putting this thing together no matter what because it's actually taking up a big spot in the shop. And so I want to get it under power. One of the things we noticed, or I noticed, or we both noticed is, and you might have seen this in previous videos, is uh, got some transmission fluid here. And once we took out that, that floor... I noticed that it was leaking underneath here. So that dad's actually gonna take out a section of this floor. So uh, he's gotta get out a, a seal underneath there and replace that. Dad doesn't really like working on transmissions and engines simply because of the fact that... We have to, what we have to do in this one, Ralph, is, is get light and clean up under here real good. Yeah. And put some uh, clean paper in, mm -hmm. white, I'll find out exactly where the leak is. Okay, so it's leaking enough though that it's a little bit every single day that it's making a difference. So 
we're going to have to take out the floor. Dad's got to re put, replace that seal or wherever, find out where that leak is and go from there. But, uh, yeah. And finally, Dad's got all the, the wheels back in the shop and he's, uh, uh, he's got a, he's checked them all out. Uh, we're going to put for sure two on, if not three. We managed to secure a third tire here. Uh, so we've got a brand new one here. We've got another one and then this one came in. I think it's a motorcycle tire, but I don't know what it is, but it's, it doesn't, it's not the same, but, uh, the rims are good on these ones, I think, but this one here has a leak. So we're going to get a new tube in it and we have some spare tubes. So that'll, uh, look at each of these as he goes along. But he's got to determine which goes on the back and he's got to get a good uh, axle two good two tires with good axles on the back and then he's got to put like the, the the not so good ones in the middle so that's the update here guys uh if you don't see any bombardier videos in the next couple of days i'll try and put up one of dad's old winter road videos and uh, you guys can enjoy what dad was doing back in his heyday spent 50 years building winter roads and he uh he uh has lots of stories and some good videos so i'll try and put one of those up so the last thing i want to bring up here guys is uh dad has 500 subscribers now uh just want to thank you guys for that and couldn't have gotten to this stage without you guys so if you want to see something on a on a future video, let us know. And we really appreciate you subscribing and viewing Dad's videos. He's coming up on almost 200 videos for bombardiers. So uh, that's pretty incredible. And all he wants to do is just share his knowledge with you guys. So thanks again.